Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Jira Cloud tutorial, we are going to learn how to create search filters in Jira. Now, prior to getting started about the steps to create search filters in Jira, let's first understand what are filters in Jira. So, if we talk about filters in Jira, it's basically the search that we do, be it, you know, like a basic search, advanced search or JQL search. So we search the issues, right? And then those search queries return the results on our screen. So for example, if I go to any, say for example, any project, uh, the filters will still remain same. So we'll simply try to search the issues. And here, when we are searching the issues, so this is basically the basic search in Jira Cloud. If you want to do the advanced search, we can click on the advanced search in the right, and it will give us more options to select uh, and filter out the issues. So for example, I want to filter out the issues based on the components, database and UI or, you know, any any other components, then I can simply select that and the results will be shown or filtered based on the criteria that we choose from these, you know, selections here. So this is what the basic search is. And now when we save these searches, so when we say save as, so for example, this is one of the uh, search that we have done. This has returned the results on the screen. Now I want to save it so that I can reuse in future somewhere, say for example, dashboard or, you know, any gadgets on the dashboard or any other reports. So when you save these filters, if, you, if I say save as, and I'll say filter demo. I, I provide the name of the filter and then submit. So now this search result gets saved as filter. So here in the left hand side, you see the filter demo has been saved. So when you save the search query, it becomes a filter. Now, what is the importance of filter? So importance of filter is basically you can share the search results. So for example, in this particular filter, I can go to the details and I can do the subscriptions. So when I do the subscriptions, so I, what I can do is I can simply say new subscription and I can provide the recipients here. Okay. So I can provide the group of users who will be notified on a daily basis or say, for example, you know, uh, I can set the timeline and they'll be notified for these results on the schedule that you set here. Okay. So for example, I want to have a filter which filters out certain issues and then I'll save that, you know, search query as a filter. And then I want to have everyone in this particular Jira administrators group to be notified daily on this particular interval. So that's one of the advantages of having filter. So, uh, the other thing is I can create a list of, you know, favorite filters and I can save those filters. If, for example, I want to filter out all the defects in a particular project, right? So I can create a filter, create a search query, save it as a filter, and then that search filter will be available in the left hand side. And I can quickly go like these are here. So my open issues, I can click on it and I don't have to basically type in the search query again and again. Okay. The other important place where you use filters is the dashboard and in the dashboard, you have multiple gadgets. So within the gadgets, you can directly use those filters to prepare or show the data on the dashboard, which is available for the stakeholders within your project. Um, filters are also used in the report. So you can say you can save the filter um, and use those filters in the reports that you are trying to produce. Right. So these are some of the important, you know, usages of the filters. Then you can also uh, view uh, the search results based on the filter. So for example, this is the filter. Say I, I want to view the issue based on reported by me and then it will filter out all the issues. I can export these issues in different format. OK, so this is basically it makes your work really quick and will help you to search the issues in a really quick way. So if you are trying to 
you know search similar sort of issues or you you are looking for some search queries that are very widely used better save it as filter okay now to create a filter i have already explained but i'll go through in different projects and i'll show you so basically in the classic scrum project if i go to the classic scrum to create a filter you can either go to the issues okay in the issues you simply search the issues based on the criteria either with the basic search so this is the basic search at the moment i'll go to the advanced search and in the advanced search you specify the criteria so for example in this project i want to select all the user stories okay which are assigned to say particular user or say for example current user okay now this is the query that is available now to make it a filter i'll simply click on save fill save as and i'll say all user stories i'll provide a name and then assign to me okay and simply save it so click on submit and you will see that it is starred and it is available as a filter now okay so this is how simple you can create the filters the other option is directly on the top you will see the filters drop down so if you click on it and go to you know view all filters it will show you all the filters that are available there okay in the instance so you can see these are all filters that are available and the access level where or what is the access level of these filters for example if you see you know you can see some of the filters are private because they haven't been shared but if there are filters which are public that have been shared or you know they, they are accessible to other people then you can see you know uh, the particular project as such that is available here uh, and then here in the right hand side you will see the people that have starred that particular filter or favorited that filter so this is another place that you can you know go to to basically create the filter so from here you come here and then you can click on create filter and it will redirect you to the same search issues window okay now you search the issues save those that those uh, that search query as a filter and that will be fine so that this is about the uh, scrum project now if you go to the next gen project it's almost similar navigation and everything is almost similar so you have the filters tab at the top where you can go and search for all the filters or you can directly you know view all the filters and then create filter from there or you can go to the advanced search issue directly okay and it will redirect to the same uh, window here to search the issues and you can save the filters using the save as button here okay so this is similar as we have seen in other you know next gen in the classic scrum similarly in the next gen kanban it's all same so navigation wise it's all same whether you go from issues or from filters at the top uh, view all the filters or advanced search so there are a lot of multiple ways i just wanted to show you what all different options are available to navigate to the search issues window write your search criteria and then save the filters or save the search criteria as search filter so we have understood what are search filters basically in jira and then how you can go ahead and create search filters in jira so this is pretty simple uh, nothing you know complicated to create search filters the only thing is basically to know what exactly it is and how you can navigate through to create your own search filters in jira so that's all for this tutorial hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching